I'm James Harbeck. For today's pronunciation tip, hör mal nicht da an mich Chuck von IKEA. How you pronounce my kitchen from IKEA. That's right, we got a whole new kitchen from IKEA, and I couldn't resist doing a video on the pronunciation of all these Swedish names of all these Swedish things that we are now surrounded by. But before I get going, I want to give you four little disclaimers. First, Sweden is a big spread out country and it has a number of regional variations, so the pronunciations will vary from place to place. Second, Swedish pronunciation is particularly weird and difficult for English speakers. It's much harder and stranger than most European language pronunciation, believe it or not. It really is a trick. So try as you might, you probably won't get it exactly right. Don't believe that I'm getting it exactly right either because that's number three. I'm not Swedish. Let's be clear about this. I'm a linguist. I study phonology. I put the effort in to find out these things, but I'm not Swedish. My family's not Swedish. I do have cousins in Sweden, but they're on my wife's side. And number four, and this is the most important thing. <clears throat> this isn't really a pronunciation tip because A, you're not going to use it in Sweden if you don't speak Swedish because you don't speak Swedish. So there you go. But whatever. B, if you're going to an Ikea, not an Ikea, an Ikea, then you're in an English speaking country, Ikea being the English pronunciation of the store. And if you're in an English speaking country, the odds are extremely high that not one person you talk to in that store speaks even one word of Swedish. Okay, one word. Hey, hey, that's it. And if you come at them with the Swedish pronunciations of these things, it's probably just going to get in the way of effective, efficient communication. So say it as you see it. Sorry, but true. All right. But if you want to have fun with phonology, let's get going. Number one, all this cabinetry, not the doors, but the things inside, right? All of this is sekhun. Sekhun. It looks like section, but in Swedish, it's sekhun. It means section. Um, the shatacha thing is what we're going to get back to that. The drawer is maximera. Maximera. That means maximize. And inside the drawer, this cutlery tray is uptatera. Uptatera. And that means update. The front of the drawer and the fronts of these other cabinets are Nikibu. Nikibu. That is a village in eastern Smoland. If I open this here, you can see this carousel and the carousel is utrusta utrusta which means equip the box we have a few of these is kugis kugis which is named apparently after a little house on the grounds of a royal palace in lundagor don't ask me now the sink is Hillehuen. <laughs> That's right. Hillehuen. It looks like it should be Hillis John, right? Everybody we talked with at IKEA here in Toronto calls it Hillis John. So if you're actually buying it in Toronto or anywhere in an English speaking country, expect them to say Hillis John. But in fact, in Swedish, the O has two dots on it, so it's a eh, rounded mid front vowel and the SJ is not sh as it would be say in Denmark or Norway but H. now in some parts of Sweden it's sh but increasingly around Sweden they've really latched onto this H pronunciation so for instance if you're going skiing in Norway it's called poshi but in Sweden it's called pohi I think they like being weird I really I really do think they they like making it challenging there's a certain pride in that I don't know. I can't speak for Sweden, but anyway, the other thing is it's it's not Hillehuen, it's Hillehuen because they have a double tone. And we're going to get to that again, specifically with the faucet. Elmaren, not Elmaren, but Elmaren. Nice, huh? Pulls out. And the th sink stoppers, which I hope you can't see because they're kind of, you know, are Lilviken. 
Oh, Hillechuan is a lake in Smoland. Sorry, Hillechuan is a lake in Yestrikland. No, it, yes, Hillechuan is a lake in Yestrikland. Elmaren is a lake in Smoland. And the sink stopper, Lilviken, is a lake in Ongermanland. You see a theme here. <laughs> the cabinet doors, the upper ones, which are ash effect, not like actual ash, they're, you know, that stuff, but ash effect are Askerschont. Askerschont because the R goes retroflex when it gets to the S and the S assimilates, so Askerschont. And that is a city of Nerche in central Sweden. The range hood is Jenomdriva. Jenomdriva, and that means push through, as I suppose ventilation does. The under cabinet lights, you can't see them, but you can see the effect, are Mitliet. Mitliet. I don't know what that means. I couldn't find out. Sorry. Um, also, things that you can't see are power cords that they have that are called Ansluta. And Ansluta, which means connect. And also Volkdal. I'm not sure which cord is which, but you can't see any of them. Doesn't matter. Volkdal is a village in Stremsund. And there's a power switch called Rodret, which means the rudder, Rodret. But then there's this thing. I'm quite fond of it. It's trolt free. Trolt free. That means wireless, which is like, wait, it's a wireless switch and it's called wireless. I thought it was illegal for IKEA product names to actually mean what they are. But anyway, OK. At the bottom of the cabinet, you probably can't see it, is a toe kick called Ferbetra, Ferbetra, and that means improve. And again, it is an improvement. Believe me, if we didn't have them, things would roll under the cabinet. That would be bad. Um, the handles, all of these, I insisted on ones that I could hook my fingers on. Believe me, it matters to me. Ornes, Ornes, a village in Strömsund. The countertops, which are quartz, thank you very much, are Kasker. Not Kaskar, but Kaskar, double tone. And that means helmets or hats. Holding up the countertop, you can't see it because the counter is resting on them, and I'm not going to move the camera under so you can see under. Thank you. Are Fixa. Fixa. Those are the counter supports, the brackets. Just nothing much to look at anyway. That means fix, as in the verb, to fix. Finally, couple things that I don't think you can quite see. There's a little turntable back here. Uh, I, I can't reach it to turn it. <laughs> Whatever. Variera. Variera. That means vary, as in variation. Change. OK. And we have, I don't think you can, oh no, it's hidden behind some chips. <laughs> a little cute wooden spice shelf called Bekven. Bekven. And that means comfortable. And it is. This kitchen, the whole kitchen, it's very bequem, comfortable. Well, Devar, at Thank you.